With all the awesome racing that's taken place so far on this swing of the hunt for the USMTS Casey's Cup Championship, you keep thinking one of these nights will have to produce a ho-hum feature. Well, it wasn't Saturday night at Ogilvy Raceway. An incredibly slick surface produced the wildest A-main of the stretch so far. Jason Crone led on two occasions and took the point for the final time, just past the halfway mark to score his second hunt win of the year. We got out there and uh, were able to lead a few laps, and then uh, then we had some company. Uh, showed me the fast way around up top yet early, and uh, just kind of fell in line there. Uh, ran second, trying to come put something together, some sort of strategy to work our way back by him. And uh, you know, actually, he led until we hit lap traffic, and then once we hit the lap traffic, we were able to work through there. And uh, it, it sounded exciting behind me. Um, just you know, the couple of yellows we had, and uh, some of the things we saw on the racetrack, it sounded. Uh, Sounded a little interesting back there, but then, uh, you know, the track took a little uh, traction, uh, almost rubbered towards the bottom one lap before the yellow. I had kind of been running up top. You know, on the on the yellow, they talked to, uh, you know, tell us on the receivers, and they said 12 was second, which is Hughes, and he, that doesn't leave any room for errors at that point uh, when he's behind you uh, along with everybody else. But uh, I was fairly confident if I didn't slide the car at that point, once I had found the traction just before the yellow, that we were going to be okay. We tried something different tonight. Um, we're just trying to find everybody is so close in this uh, in the USMTS. It's just a matter of uh, you know who hits it. So uh, Rodney is unable to try things being in the points race. I'm not racing for points. I can try things. Um, so we are. We're we're always working. Uh, Hughes has stepped up the game, forced us to go back to work a bit. Um, we're trying things. Um, I'll take it. I mean, you, these things are so tough to win. Jason Hughes had to come out of the B main and took the Mesilla Valley Transportation Hard Charger Award with a run from 13th to 2nd. Got up there and kind of hung out for a while, and then I just went to moving around. And I, I think I found the rubber a little bit before everybody else did and got to get by them before they'd pull down. So that, that helped me a lot, and I, I wished Crone hadn't found that rubber. <laughs> The redraw bit Jeremy Payne again as he accumulated the most passing points, but picked the number eight Frisbee on the front stretch. I mean, we'll take a third, that's for sure. And we've been working and working on this car, and it's getting a little bit better. Uh, it's just not running like we need it to and like we're used to it running. So uh, luckily, we uh, the track took some traction there late in the race, and that really helped our car out. So hopefully we can figure out our problem and, uh, and get, them, get them tomorrow. Perhaps the most interesting part of the race was contact between Ryan Gustin and Dan Hilsebeck, which ended with Gustin sitting sideways in the middle of three and four on lap 33. To show his displeasure, under yellow, Gustin spun Hilsebeck once and then got into him again. The 19R was sent to the infield. Here's what each side had to say in regards to the incident, starting with Gustin. My own fault, I guess, for turning the spoiler off on the second lap. If we wouldn't have done that, we'd probably have been up there battling the chrome for the lead, but... Uh... I guess you got guys like that when Todd says every night don't try to race with the leaders that want to chop you down and try to run you in the tractor tires. That's that's what you're going to get. So I guess I know how I'm going to race him now. Oh, I was running the bottom the whole race. Uh, I don't know. He just come in on the bottom below me and like, we got together. That's about it. I don't know. Uh, I, from what I hear, he's running the top the whole race. So I don't know. I don't know what was going on. I mean, he raced for lead. I get that. and uh, I don't know. I feel bad I tore him up, but. I don't know. I didn't think I did anything wrong either. We'll wrap up five straight days of racing Sunday night at Sock Rapids, Minnesota. Trenton Berry for USMTS.com.